Greyhounds will now parade for our first race of the evening. Time-wise, it's our 7.25. Class-wise, A9. The distance, 470 metres. And introducing the Greyhounds to race number one, Trout One, Skio Ferry, <coughs> owners Messrs Llewellyn and Slinger. <coughs> Trout two is Jacko de Bell, owned Mr L Partington. Trout three, Beach Patrol, owned by Mrs F Fielding. Trout four, September Song, for the Iron Gate Syndicate. <coughs> Trout five, Nippy Lady, for Mr R W Smith. And finally, draft six, we have the Jean Genie, owned by Miss J. Llewellyn. Greyhounds are currently on parade. So, totalisator, what's happening in the market here? We have 11 to 4. Trap 1, Skio Ferry. 6 to 1, Trap 2, Jakota Bell. 5 to 1, Trap 3, Beach Patrol. 7 to 2, Trap 4, September Song. The favourite is Trap 5, Nippy Lady. Now, Nippy Lady, this is her first run since being in season. Nippy Lady, 6 to 5, tote favourite to make a winning comeback. And 3 to 1, Trap 6, the Jean. Genie Greyhounds are now approaching the starting traps. We have approximately two minutes to the off. We're now box high and going behind. Greyhounds being led behind the starting traps. And greyhounds are being placed into the starting traps. We are loading for our first race on this Friday evening. I can tell you the tote favourite, quite a strong favourite too. That is top five, Nippy Lady. Can she make a winning seasonal comeback? Soon we find out.
Belter has got the on the spin. Left, left. And we race away. 146 in line, 253. Here's the bike mark, but it's one Skio Ferry for Jew Llewellyn, who will lead the party to the back stretch. One by two lengths from two in second. That's Jacoda Bell. Five towards the outside, making headway, looking at three coming through. Beach Patrol round toward the final bend. One, two, five, three was squeezed for racing room there. As we turn in towards the home straight, one shows from three, two, and five, two, three, and a barging match there. Up to our go, one taken on by five, laid on. One, five, and three, the outcome. One, Skio Ferry, beating five, Nippy Lady, and three, Beach Patrol. One, five, and three. And the official result for race one, Winnie Greyhound Trout 1, Skier Ferry, second Trout 5, Nippy Lady, third Trout 3, Beach Patrol, 1, 5 and 3. And the complete order of finish for race one. One, five, three, four, six, and two. One, five, three, four, six, and two. The winning time, 29.72, 29.72. The distance is half a length, neck. Two and a half lengths, neck, and a half a length. Race two, the 7.40 A8 is the grade, so a level higher than our first race. Again, we're covering 400 and 70 metres. It tips to wise. Track one, State Chieftain, Raggle, Rebel, trained by Nigel Saunders. Loves to be at the forefront of the situation from the word go, and ideally housed on the inside. So track one, Raggle, Rebel choice of Chieftain. The Bellevue panel stage up to Wolf Mother, to the Greyhound who likes to be on the lure from the outset. Wolf Mother is down the grey to A8. Obviously that's a huge advantage, taking on lesser lights this evening. So our tips is going towards the inside. Trap 1 for Chieftain Rebel Rebel. Trap 2 for the Bellevue panel is Wolf Mother. That opening battle between the pair may well decide the outcome. And of course, here we're down to five greyhounds at trap six at Squinford Blue being withdrawn lane, but trap six is vacant.
The new turf favourite is up to Wolf Mother. Cut one goes in, Raggle Rebel. Don't forget this Battle Royale to lead on the inside passage. Trucks three and four go in to complete the lineup. So being checked over, race two. Belt Hells, Bunny on the spin. Hounds, they are away. Too fast away. Wolf Mother. Two by two lengths to four and five. Spider from Mars and Kuzzel Dancer as we turn out towards the far side. It is Wolf Mother saying, catch me if you can. Down in class tonight. Pressed all the time by five. Kuzzel Dancer. Two pressed by five. One is some four lengths away. Heading round to the final bend. Two the rails. Five towards the outside there. Clear from one. In towards the home stretch. Two now by a half a length to five. Wolf Mother. Kuzzel Dancer to the wire we go. It is oh two five five and two. Very close indeed there. Mighty close there. Has uh, two hung on. Has five got there one for the judge a photo between five curls of dancer and two wolf mother five two photograph called And the official result for race number two, Winnie Greyhound, trap two, Wolf Mother. Second trap five, Curzel Dancer. Third trap one, Raggle Rebel. Two five and one. Greyhounds are making their way behind the starting traps. Going behind. Greyhounds are being placed into the starting traps. In we go, race number three. A7 is the grade. Trap four is the warm favourite. Casino Chris on the totalisator. Just about locked away. There's the all clear. Bunny on the spin. And away we go, 2 1, Lace Wing and Storm. The weather taken on by 5, Kersel Casey, and 5 is the new leader as we head towards 
the far side. Quite a clean corner, five by a lane from three. Curzel Katie and at nice on Pricey. Four suddenly on the premises. Here comes Casino Chris. Three five together, four half a length away. Six looking for a round of the final bend. And now five and four race on together. Curzel Katie, Casino Chris. Up to the bar we go, one four too good. Four pulls away from five with two and six in a photograph. For the place. Four wins it. Casino Chris beating five Colonel Katie. We have a photograph for third place. Official result for race three. Winner, trap four, Casino Chris. Second trap five, Curzel Katie. Third trap two, Lace Wing. Four, five, and two. Right hands to race four, track one, Sally Bog Red, don't buy Miss J. Llewellyn. Track two, uh, Slaney Side Sasha, Mr. C. P. Bloor. Track three, Tyra Baby for Mr. J. Walsh. Track four, Medlock Millie, who belongs to uh, Mr. M. Ashurst. Track five, Milbank Blake, Mr. P. J. Mumford. Andrew F6, Strong Warrior, owned by Mr. B.P. Edwards. Grand race number four, we're on parade. And here we go with our prices. We have five to two. Track one, Sally Bogred. Seven to two. Trap two, Slaney side, Sasha. Two to one, toe favourite. That is trap three, Tyra Baby. Three to one, trap four, Medlock Millie. Thirteen to two, trap five, Milbank Blake. And nine to four, trap six, Strong Warrior. A6, the grey. This builder has at Tim's Cracker. As the Greyhounds begin the approach down to the starting tracks, we have two minutes to the off.
The greyhounds are being placed into the starting traps. We load. In goes trail one, which is Sally Borg Red, followed by two, uh, slightly size Sasha, and Sasha is the last greyhound to go forward. Stada checks over the greyhounds. Sasha not quite in. She is now. Belter was bunny on the spin. Let's flip. And we are racing three. Tyra Baby just by a half to four. Medlock Millie on four now kicks on. Four shows by half from two. Three next, followed by six, one, five is the bite marker. Down the back stretch we go. It is two going on now. Slain inside Shasha. Last in the boxes, but first at the moment by a lane from six. Strong Warrior, who's all towards the inside. Now goes towards the outside. Four right there. One improves. Sally Bog Red, but in towards the home straight. It is Sasha striding away. Two wins. Six second, five and one in a photograph for third place. So two wins it. Slain inside Sasha beating six strong Warrior. Photo third. The official result for race four, winning Greyhound trap two, slain inside Sasha, second trap six, strong warrior, third trap five, Millbank Blake, two, six and five. And the complete order of finish the race for two six five one four and three two six five one four three winning time twenty eight forty five two eight point four five and the distances three and three quarters one and a quarter short head three lengths and one length.
Grey has an up parade for race five. It's the A25 classes A5. And Grey has four race five, track one, on target, owned by Mr. M. Nash. Track two, Big White Chief, Mr. P. Grimshaw. Track three, Kalara All-Star for Mr. J. M. Walton. Track four, Battle Captain, owned by Mr. W. J. C. Borum, MC. Track five, Capakiel Mink for Ms. J. Macon. And trap six, Bayside Polly, owned by Messrs. Hawkins and Hobbs. Greyhounds to race number five on parade. Eleven to four, trap one on target, and trap two, big white chief. We have three to one, trap three. Kilara All-Star. Trap four, Battle Captain is the 11 to 8 favourite. Greyhound, who was impressive last time out in A6, making all the running. Battle Captain, a stepper test tonight. So certainly we'll have to have those trapping boots on. 11 to 8 her favourite. Battle Captain, 15 to 2, Trap 4, Capakil Mink. And 4 to 1, Trap 6, Bayside Polly. Greyhounds are now approaching the starting traps.
And grey hands have been placed into the third entrance. Wheeler at race number five. Sleep in the boxes, one shows, but five now powers on Kapakil Ming. Five, pressed by three, Kilara All-Star, three, the new leader from one on target. So three is kicked on by some two and a half lanes to one on target. Let me go five and four mid-division, Kapakil Ming and Battle Counting towards the rear, six and two. Based by Polly and Big White Chief as you come round towards the final bend. And it's all three here, Kilara All-Star, who has yet to see a rival. It's three of the winner with four and five along with six. In a photograph for second place. So three winning the race, Killer All-Star photo for second. Whistle for race five. Winner trap three, Kilara All Star. Second trap four, Battle Captain. Third trap one, on target. Three, four, and one. Complete order of finish race five, three, four, one, six, five, and two. Three, four, one, six, five, two. Winning time twenty eight, forty seven to eight point four seven. Distances three and a half lengths. Head, neck, short head, and three lengths. Race number six, we're covering 590 metres. S3 is standard. And we have a trip to overall Millie for Chief and a Greyhound, who's the youngest in the party, August 2014, babe. And she recently clocked uh, a fastest time at 590 metres, which was 36.39. And Millie will be up and about early, hoping to outbox that one mile by Alfie and control... The situation. So trap two overall, Millie, hoping to put the uh, pressure immediately on the opposition. Trap five, though, say the Bobby panel, uh, Philly 
Dimi for Jill Llewellyn. Quite experienced over this 590 metre distance and allows others uh, to do the donkey work. Big finish, you know. Uh, it'll be uh, a final lap assault from Vladimi, but needs those gaps to appear when she slips into top gear. Drop five, Vladimi for the Bowie panel. It is trapped to overall Millie for Chieftain. And the birthday to mention, this is to, to Chris, here at Bellevue, celebrating his 30th birthday. Have a fantastic time, Chris. And we love you loads. All the best to Chris. Has an now parade for race number 6, the 840, covering 590 metres, S3R grade for the Pinkies, last night of Freedom Stakes.
and Greyhouse for race number six. Trout one is Malbay Alfie, owned by Alfie's Army. Trout two overall, Millie, owned by Mr. M. Keenan. Trout three, Shane Moyelle for Mrs. D. Cross. Trout four, F. C. Less, owned by Mr. A. Klein. Trout five, Philly D. Me for Miss Jack Llewellyn. And trap six, Argerton Champ, owned by Mr. M. J. Durr. Greyhounds, this 590 meter affair, as we begin the march out towards the 590 meter starting traps. Greyhounds are being placed into the starting traps. We are loading. Start of this race is out along the, the far side. It's over six bends face the Greyhounds. Six red hands uh, locked away, checked over. Belter was bunny on the spin. And we're racing and three off the mark quickly. Shane Boy Alfred is three into the home straight by a half from the closing one, Malby Alfie and one there. Railing well goes on from two also railing well. Overall, Millie. So one from two, five is next. Fully Demi as we go out onto the final circuit. One, uh, Malbe Alfie by two legs now from uh, two, five creeping closer as is four, FC last. Now, round of the final bend. One shows for the pack are closing, especially for the Demi. Round towards the final bend. One by a half to five. Four right on the premises. To the wire goes now. One, five and four. Up to the wire. Five gets there for the Demi. It is five the winner with four and one in a photograph. For second place, five-year winner, Fully Demi, photo second.
The official result for race six, the winning Greyhound trail five, Philly Dimi. Second trail four, FC Lass. And third trail one, Melbay Alfie. Five, four, and one. The complete order of finish race 6, 5, 4, 1, 6, 2, and 3. 5, 4, 1, 6, 2, 3. The winning time, 36, 55, 3, 6, 5, Distances, 1 and a quarter, short head. 1 and a quarter, 2 and 3 quarters, 7 and a half. The presentation for race number six, Penke's last night of Freedom Stakes. Presentation made to the winning connections at drop five, Philly Dimi. And just a note regarding race number six, if you see at the base of that race in your program, just say the Super 6 jackpot starts here. Ignore that. The, the printing boy with a hash of that. It's actually race number seven, so the 
Super 6 jackpot starts at race number 7. That's upcoming. Race 7, the first leg, the 8.55. And it is races 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 in that uh, Super 6 jackpot. So ignore that caption. And uh, race number 6, which has just been run. It is race number 7, the 8.55. That is the first leg of tonight's Super 6 jackpot. And we do have a, grand, a guaranteed net pool this evening of £1,000. So apologies for that uh, mix-up in the programme. And also with uh, printing errors in mind, uh, the, the final race at, uh, is at 10.25. As per usual, it does say 10.20 in the programme for race 13. Ignore that at 5. It is 10.25, the final race, race number 13. Now, can our tips just help you along in the first leg of this uh, Super 6 jackpot race number 7, the first leg upcoming? It's the 8.55. A2 is the grade. And both our tipsters going for Trout 4 here, Tars Nakan. Quite a simple tactics. It is to blast away from those starting gates and make every single metre a winning uh, one. So, uh, pace from those uh, starting blocks. And speed up towards the first bend. That's the name of his game. Come and catch me. Hopefully, will be the cry. Top four. Tars de Khan save both our tipsters. Greyhounds in our parade for race number seven. This is the 855 Class A2. It's the first leg at this evening's Super 6 jackpot.
Ray has race seven. Trap one, Bunny Mac Walter, owned by John Wiley Syndicate. Trap two is Goody Gumdrops for Mr. S. R. Patterson. Trap three, Steely Charm, Mr. F. Wagner. Trap four, Tarzan Khan, Mrs. J. L. McComb. Trap five, Johnny Rondo for Mr. G. J. Crossley. And trap six, Black Turbo, owned by the Darren Hoyle Syndicate. Greyhounds to race seven, currently on parade. Greyhounds are being placed in to the starting tracks. We load. Race seven, first leg of tonight's Super Six Jackpot. Track two complete in the lineup. Goody gumdrops all in. Checked over. There we have the all clear signal. Bunny on the spin. Lid rise. We are racing five fast away. Johnny Rondo five will lead the way by a length from two and four. Goody gumdrops and Tarzan Khan turning out towards the far side where two now kicks on. This is a Goody gumdrops. For James Barber, two by two and a half lengths to one. Bally Matt Walter, then we go three. Steely Charm, two, one, three. Four, six, and five as we head for home. Goody Gum drops by one and a half lengths. From one, Bally Matt Walter, three right there. To the logo, two taken on by one. But two will hang on by a half length from one. With three in third. Two, one. And three, Goody Gum drops. Bally Matt Walter and Steely Charm. Two, one, three. And the official whistle for race seven, Winnie Greyhound, trap two, Goody Gumdrops. Second trap one, Bally Mac Walter, third trap three, Steely Charm, two, one, and three.
and the complete order of finish race 7, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, the winning time was 28, 32, to 8.32, distances half a length, 1 and 3 quarters, 3 and a half, 3 quarters, 1 and 3 quarters. Race 8, the 10 past 9 class is A6, 470 metres, uh, tips to wise, track 1, Foxy Babe, say, Chieftain, track 1, Foxy Babe, the Greyhound, who is down in class to A6, and has the inside box luxury um, accommodation that Chieftain could not avoid, the Greyhound, so powerful along the back stretch, just needs to be there or thereabouts, turning out towards the far side, and just watch out for her turn of foot along that uh, far side. Track one, Foxy Babe, say Chieftain. But it is track four, Merlin's Hill, the choice of Chieftain and Brian Thompson charge. Supported last time out to be the two to one favorite, but uh, the Greyhound failed to read the script. To be fair, he was squeezed to racing room on two occasions. First clocker on his day and with luck on his side, 
certainly Greyhound in A6, who is a huge, huge threat. Probably it'll be a stalking style of attack. Trap for Merlis Hill for the Bellevue Panel. Greyhounds are now for a full race eight, ten past nine, the Ockinfro Jock Sweet Scousers Golf Weekend Sprint. Greyhounds for race number eight. So track one is Foxy Babe, owned by Mrs. AJ Gray. Trip two, Queensland Timmy, owned by Just Us. Trip three, Painful Paddy, for the Darren Hoyle Syndicate. Trip four, Merlis Hill, for Mr. J Day. 
Trent by George's Hawk for the Max Power Syndicate. And Trent 6, Romantic Mittler for the San Miguel Amigos. Greyhounds for race 8, we're currently on parade. Track one here is the four to five favourite in the totalisator, Foxy Babe, down in class, ideally has on the inside the choice of Chieftain. Track one, Foxy Babe, the four to five to favourite. Greyhounds are being placed into the starting traps. We are loading. Belto's money on the spin. Let rise and away we go. Two four five at Queensland Timmy, Merlitz Hill, George Hawk as we come to the, the opening corner and it is uh, two going on narrowly for just squeeze the room. As we head to the halfway point, in pole place we head to Queensland Timmy, a newcomer for Darren Hampson, challenged all the time by five, George's Hall. One is handily placed, Foxy Babe, as they come round towards the final bend. Two by number five, one will stand from there, three looking for room, up to the wire. We go with his two, Queensland Timmy, pressed by one, who may have burgled the prize. We'll call a photo between one and two of Foxy Babe and Queensland Timmy. The official result for race eight, Winnie Greyhound, track one, Foxy Babe. Second, track two, Queensland Timmy. Third, track five, George's Hawk. One, two, and five.
And the complete order of finish of race eight, one, two, five, three, six, and four. One, two, five, three, six, and four. Winning time, 28, 67 to 8.67. Distances ahead. Half a length, one and three quarters. Again, one and three quarters, one and a half. Race 9, the 925, A5 is the grade. And now two tipsters, both going for trap 5 in this race. Bally Mac Ruby, a greyhound who almost uh, bounced back to winning ways on her reappearance after a stint on the sidelines. She was caught near the line by Seahorse, the greyhound, who is very fast through the only stages of the contest. Does tire coming home, so we'll have to grit those teeth. But no doubt we'll have banished a few cobwebs in that uh, recent outing and we'll strip fitter for the run. Race 9, both our tipsters say in the trap 5, Ballymat Ruby can make all the running. And the presentation for race number eight, the Oaken Fro Jock Speed Scousers Golf Weekend Sprint. That presentation being made to the Winnie Connections, or Track One, Foxy Bay.
Greyhounds are now parade for race 9, the 9.25 Class A5. Greyhounds to race nine, try out one impressive lad, don't buy the Sunday Sucks. Trap two, sister, no mercy for Mr. C. Hawkins. Trap three, Reston Herrera, Mr. S. M. Matthews. Trap four, Sarasota Daisy for the Sawdust Platters. Trap five, Banamat Rubio by Mrs. Cross and Macon. And trap six, Lottie Lou for Mr. M. Fenton. Greyhounds to race nine, Currently, well, all parade. Greyhounds are being placed into the starting traps. We are loading. This is race number nine, A5 being the grade.
Chapter 2 will complete the lineup. Sister, no mercy. All in. Checked over. Belto's bunny on the spin. The hounds, they are away. One impressive lap. One taken on by five. Bally Ruby in five has hit the front. Six goes second. One hugs the rail first. So we have five, six, one scenario as we turn out towards the back stretch. Five Bally Ruby by two lengths to six. Lossy Loop. Two goes third now. Sister No Mercy, one is back in four players, coming round toward the final bend, it's five who has made all, but just tired, two, in towards the home straight, pressing five, to the bar go, five and two, a head to head, five and two, photograph between five and two, five at Bally Mate Ruby, two, Sister No Mercy, we have a photograph, five and two. The official result for race number nine. Winner, drop five, Barry McRuby. Second, drop two, Sister No Mercy. And third, drop one, impressive lad. Five, two, and one. Complete order of finish race 9, 5, 2, 1, 6, 3, and 4. 5, 2, 1, 6, 3, 4. Winning time, 28, 38. 2, 8, 38. Distances, short head, 2 and a quarter. Short head, 3 and 3 quarters, and 1 length. Race 10, the 9.40. Top class A1 for the Walkden Legion. Celebration stakes. Tips to Wise, Trip 2, State Chieftain Shane Boy Mort. 
so impressive in winning action last week in this top tier of A1 with a 27.86 career best. Nice touch of opening pace. I'm not lacking in the staying department, so in that uh, all-round bracket. Trip two, say Chieftain at Shane Boy Mort, whereas the Bellevue panel go next door with trap three at Scoop. The loot, cracking strike rate, 10 wins from 24 stars. Can strike from the front or behind to grab a result. And up against it, finds that little bit extra. Tremendous Greyhound. That could be a cracking race between those two, uh, Shane Boy Mort and Scoop. The in fact, it's a wide open contest. But trap two for Chieftain, Shane Boy Maud. Trap three, uh, Scoop the Loot for Chieftain and the Bellevue panel. They both have similar styles of running. Taking some betting on the tote. 9 to 4, trap 1, follow Chopper. 3 to 1, trap 2, Shane Boy Mort. 11 to 8, favourite, trap 3, scoop the loot. It is 3 to 1, trap 4, Ballymac Jack. 5 to 1, trap 5, she's at Skippy's Maldini. And 8 to 1, trap 6, Swift Asia. Greyhounds are now parade for race 10. This is the 940. Top class day one. The Warden Legion. Celebration stakes.
The Greyhounds will raise 10. Trout Warren follow Chopper, Ernest Messers, Hamilton and McComb. Trap 2, Shane Boy Mort, owners, Masters Cross and Makin. Trap 3, Scoop the Loot, owned by Mrs. W.M. Wagner. Trap 4, Ballymount Jack for Mr. J.V. Lamb. Trap 5, Skippy's Maldini and Mr. V. McNeil. And Trap 6, Swift Asia, owned by Mr. D.S. Goulding. Those are our grey hands for race number 10. Currently on parade. And greyhounds are being placed into the starting traps. In we go. All locked away. Signal bunny on the spin. Let's rise and away we go. One follow chopper by half to four. Valamac Jack, the bigger two and three. Shane Boy Mort and Scoop the Lip. We turn out towards the far side. One hassle by four. Two, three, two lengths away. Five towards the outside. Picks up speed as we head now towards the three quarter juncture. One by half and four. Five closing. Two next. Then we have a six and three. We get round towards the final bend. One still shows. Farlow Chopper in towards the home straight. Farlow Chopper from four and five to the wire. One wins it. Makes all. From four and five, quite close. For the minor award. But one the winner. Farlow Chopper. Photo second. And the official result for race 10, the winning greyhound, track 1, Farlow Chopper. Second, track 4, Bally Mac Jack. And third, track 5, Skippy's Maldini. 1, 4, and 5. And the complete order of finish of race 10, 1, 4, 5, 2, 6, 
and 3. 1, 4, 5, 2, 6 and 3. Winning time, 28, 10, 2, 8, point one zero. Distances, 2 and a quarter. Short head, 1 and a half, 2 and 3 quarters, 2 and a quarter. Race 11 is the 9.55, A4 the grey recovering the standard journey of 470 metres. Trout 5, Tally Her Duchess, the choice of Chieftain and the Bellevue panel. It was uh, Manchester Bower last, uh, last week, finishing at third being five lengths. A decent time though, 28.58. Will go faster, no doubt whatsoever. Now she has that uh, run under her belt. Slips through those gears, racing towards the first corner. He's down the far side where the tips to stay. She can amass a race winning advantage. Race 11, the 9.55. The tipsters both say, drop five. Tally ho, Duchess. And presentation for race number 10, the Walden Legion Celebration Stakes. A presentation made to the winning connections, at track one, follow Chopper.
Drop one is 13 to two. Call back the man as the screen changes to the result of our previous race. So just to hang on there for the other five greyhounds. Latest prices. And here we go, track one down to six to one. Cormac the man, track two paradering at three to one. Same price, three to one, track three, Fahi Ryoga. And again, three to one, track four, Dan Stripey, the favourite, track five, Teleha Duchess at six to four. And seven to two, track six, race course, Susu. Greyhounds are now parade for race 11. It's the 9.55. Class is A4. Greyhounds to race 11, trap 1, call back the man for Mr. D.A. Lear. Trap 2, parade ring for Ms. J. Makin. Trap 3, Fahi Riaga for the Mancunian 2. Trap 4, Dan Stripey, owners Messrs. Llewellyn and Slinger. Trap 5, Teleho Duchess, Mancunian 3. And finally in trap 6, race course Susu, owned by Mrs. W. M. Wagner. Those are the candidates for race 11, Greyhounds on parade.
Andre has been placed into the starting traps. Money on the spin. This is race 11. The drives and away we go. We have a two narrowly parade ring. Two, five, six towards the wing as we head out towards the far side. Two and six race on together. Five now, two lengths off that pace as we go to the halfway point of proceedings. It is two parade ring by a length. Five and six share second. Tell her Dutch chest and race course two, sir, coming round towards the final bend. It is uh, two. Taken on by six towards the outside, five towards the inside. Six, two and five. Four stays on down stripey. Up to the wire. We go and six gets there. Race course Su Su had that uh, extra power in the uh, closing few metres. It is six to a race course Su Su and quite close to second. And the official result for race 11, Winnie Greyhound, trap 6, race course Susu. Second, trap 2, parade ring. Third, trap 5, tell her Duchess. 6, 2 and 5. And the complete order of to race 11, 6, 2, 5, 1, 4, and 3. 6, 2, 5, 1, 4, 3. The winning time for that contest was 28.53 to 8.53. And the distance is 3 quarters. Short head against short head, half a length and half a length.
Race 12 is the 10 past 10. We're covering 590 metres and top class here at S1. Trap 3 is vacant as in your official programme. Both our tipsters going to trap 5 here. Lemon Amir, a greyhound at the moment, is in unstoppable form. This evening she chases a five-timer after wins. Well, first three covering for 70, most recent, and his top class of S1. Genuine all-rounder, once in front, very hard greyhound to go past. So race 12, 10 past 10, both our tipsters going for drop five, Lemon Amir. Message here from a party in the one of our suites. It says, uh, Best Coup, this is uh, Best Coup, who is celebrating his 50th birthday. It's all the best to Best Coup, Big 5 0. And also asking to give a shout out to, to Closed Leasing and also uh, Paul Boucher Howard. So, Best Coup, all the best to you. Happy 50th. And also a shout out to Close Leasing. And Paul about your heart. And Greyhounds will now parade for race 12, the 10 past 10, top class S1, covering 590 metres.
Andre has for race 12, Joe Warm, Cool Dairy Girl, and as Mrs. Kirsch and Llewellyn. Trap 2, Shane Boyne Nabili for Mr. D.A. Whitfield. Trap 3, The Vacancy. Trap 4, Valley Macayego for Mr. B. Hearth. Trap 5, Lemon Amir, owned by Messrs. Ford and Saunders. And trap 6, Killer Hogan Impact for the John Whiteley Syndicate. Those are the five Greyhounds contesting race 12 as we begin the approach out towards the 590 metre start. And Greyhounds are being placed into the starting straps. We're loading. Start of this race is out along the back stretch. Spin. Let rise and away we go for Sparse Bally Macayego as we enter the Hermes Trail for the first time for Bally Macayego by one of the half lengths. Storm two, Shane Boy Nabili, five is handy. Lemon Mir with a circuit now for the Greyhounds to negotiate. Bally Macayego sets a scorching pace by two lengths from two, Shane Boy Nabili. Five is right there on the premises, Lemon Mir as he passed the point of departure. Four has made all, two a length away. Five attempts to close as one improves now. Cool, there we go. We go around towards the final bend and 4-2 race together. Five looking for room to the while we go. And it's 4 two, five, one stays on, but photograph between five and four. That is close. That is close. A photo between five, Lemon Amir, and four, Bally Macayego. House four hung on. House five still on the purse. A photograph to the judge we go.
Fisher who is all for race number 12. Wendy Greyhound trap four, Bally Macayego. Second trap five, Lemon Amir. Third trap two, Shane Boy Nabili. Four, five, and two. And the complete order to finish the race 12, uh, 4, 5, 2, 1, and 6. 4, 5, 2, 1, and 6. The winning time, 35, 87, 3, 5.87. Distances at short head, half a length, again half a length, 1 and a half. Final race upon us, the 10.25, ignore the race time in the official program, it does say 10.20, that's a printing error, this is the 10.25. Class is a 3 to 5, Ghetto Jerry, say Chieftain here, so impressive, in a 5 class last time, with the career best 28.19, suffers a double penalty for that uh, success, so moving from 8.5 up to... 8-3 one fell swoop, a greyhound who now certainly must be uh, on his toes at the start. Trap 5 though, say Chieftain Ghetto Jerry, whereas the Barbie panel, say Trap 6, Forest Vanessa. Slight concerns about her fitness, first run here since the 8th of January, but certainly has the class car in this, uh, this contest on her day, capable of dipping below the 28 second uh, Barrier got a big engine, so it'll be handy around the first two bends, and they will power home in the final half of proceedings. So race 13, trap 5, at Ghetto Jerry, say Chieftain, trap 6 for the Bellevue panel, Forest Vanessa.
Grey has an hour parade for our final race of the evening. The 10.25 plus is a three. Introducing the Greyhounds to race number 13. The 10.25. Trap 1, Ballymount Ruffer, owned by the Bootle Bullet Syndicate. Trap 2, Southwind Tip for Mr. J.B. Lamb. Trap 3, Ballymount Bossman, Mr. D. Heaton. Trap 4, there's Neil Tommy, Mrs. T. Leach. Trap 5, Ghetto Jerry, Mrs. T. Leach. And Trap 6, Royce Vanessa, owned by 4-1. Greyhounds for race 13. Currently, we are approaching the starting traps with just about two minutes to the off. Seven to one, trap one, Ballymac Rafa. Nine to two, trap two, Southwind Tip. It is four to one, trap three, Ballymac Bossman. Six to one, trap four, Liz Neil Tommy. Five to four, favourite, trap five, Ghetto Jerry. And thirteen to eight, trap six, Forest. Vanessa going behind. Greyhounds have been placed into the starting traps. We load for the grand finale. The 
Hotels, Pony on the Spin, race 13. Let's rise and we're racing six for his Podesta, racing into a lead out two lengths from five. Ghetto Jerry's we head toward the far side for his Podesta, who has an engine. It's five lengths clear from one, Ballymac Rafa. The halfway point, it is six, a scorching pace. Clear by five lengths to one, Ballymac Rafa. And then to Southwinter, coming round towards the final, Ben Shawless. A winning comeback by Forrest Vanessa in towards the home stray. She's had them all on Mary Dance here. It is six to winner, one second. And two was third. Six, one, two. Forrest Vanessa, Ballymac Rafa and Southwind Tip. Six, one, two. Official whistle for race 13, winning Greyhound Tramp 6 for Espinessa. Second track 1, Ballymay Rafa, third track 2, Southwind Tip, 6, 1 and 2. The complete order of race 13, 612, 5, 4, and 3. 612, 5, 4, 3. Winning time, 28.12. 28.12. Distances, 2 and a quarter. 1 and 3 quarters, 1 and a quarter. 2 and a quarter.